everybody and welcome back to another day with us. Can you come in to say hi? Say hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> Good girl, aren't you? <laughs> and is it your special day tomorrow? Is it your christening, Daddy? Say, so it's my christening tomorrow. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, you want me to show Daddy? Daddy is just over there. He's fitting the flooring because we got Daddy. new floor. If anybody Mama. didn't see, I think it might have been our last video or the video before. We had a massive leak and it destroyed all of the living room floor. So we had to get new laminate flooring. So before the christening goes ahead tomorrow, that had to be fitted. We are currently on day three, isn't it, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. So I think he started like three days ago, but it went like three full days to just do the house. Obviously, he'd have done it in one whole day only. The kitchen fitter didn't leave till five o'clock one day, so we didn't start until after five. And then obviously by nine o'clock in the night, he needed to stop for respect for the neighbours. Um, and then yesterday the kitchen fitter was here again, so all of the stuff from the kitchen was in the living room, so we had to like kind of break around it. And then this morning, he got up at 8, ready to start, but he felt so guilty, sore, and at 8 in the morning, so we waited until after 9 o'clock, so he could saw and carry on. But he literally had a couple of pieces left in the hall, which is the worst place, because he had to fit underneath the door, and there's the skirt and boards are all off in this house. They're all, like, ski with. They start off like this, and then they go in like this. So, um... It's been a bit of a, a hard job, but I've stayed out with this time because I helped him fit it last time and I helped him fit it wrong. So um, he knows what he's doing. Here's the kitchen fitter. Now, again, he's literally just got a silicone right around the tiles, put some wood up at the sides of the cupboard. What else did he say he's doing? Securing the worktop to the cupboard, a part where I noticed it was moving a little. He forgot to secure it. Um... And I think then he's officially done and he's out of our hair for good. Well, not for good, because he's back to clean the gutters, isn't he, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so we're not getting rid of him that easily. He's become a part of the furniture. It's been three long weeks, let me tell you. He's officially done. He's just laid his last piece. If you wonder why the slides is there, we've just had to use a little technique with rubber to get the, uh, the last piece clicked in, like when you put it on your foot and click it doesn't half hurt you can't but it is done i really like it we got rid of the mingan rug and it's not going down we kept it for tomorrow to put out on the bounty castle in front of the bounty castle to stop the kids from getting muddy feet um kitchen looks a little bit upside down at the moment because i've got the slow cooks out ready to start cooking food for the christening tomorrow and obviously there's potatoes and everything else as well Here's the baby's christening cake just over here. We are going to jazz this up a bit. It come wrong, completely wrong. It weren't the one that I ordered. I ordered a different one. I'll see if I can insert a little thing there. They didn't put a cross on it. We had to put a cross on it. And I still feel like it's missing something. This is pink. It looks red. But I think I'm going to get something for around the border. Maybe some like edible confetti or something like that. But it's not... It's not right, it just doesn't look right. It feels like it's missing something. The garden is looking fantastic because it's all being cleaned out now. The guy who's on the kitchen put all the kitchen stuff in the back garden. We had a few bits ready to go to the skip and he said just put them on the rubbish removal. So the back garden is spot on now, it's perfect. It just needs to be cleaned out of like the wood chippings and stuff that's out there where Joe's been cutting and then it's all ready for the party we're excited we're getting really excited the house is starting to look a lot more normal isn't it Joe? Oh, does yeah. it feel good it does feel better yeah. it is it's, it is starting to feel so much better isn't it it's been it hasn't we haven't had a working functioning kitchen for three weeks so as you can imagine everything from the kitchen has been in the living room it's all been a bit upside down and then it's just been mess on top of mess and that's just not the way that we live and it hasn't been a very nice experience so we are glad to say that it's almost over it's almost over one last day tomorrow i've gone to have a couple of people here not many people just, i'm not sure who else joe seems to be inviting everybody when it's not supposed to be a house party but yeah there might be a couple of people over and then that's one last day of people being in the house and then that's it then no more no one else is coming in for ages that is that the kitchen fitter has finally gone for good hopefully i mean he said he, th he feels like he's done a bit of a rubbish finish on the silicone because it's gray he's done as best as he can of it dries rubbish to give him a text but it is officially done let me turn this camera around all done see this is the gray silicone to be honest 
it is a bit of a messy finish like um i'd probably prefer white it would have been less visible on the tiles i've got to dust all of my microwave and everything off after me doing it all yesterday it's uh he's made a bit of a mess again but it's easily cleaned just gotta change these faces me and joe are changing them we're thinking silver or white we don't know what color to do and then it goes right the way around to there that's it, new kitchen. And my favourite part of all is the slow closing cupboards. Yeah, that's it, all done. Now I'm going to clean and get on with Kristen and prep because there is a lot to do. A lot, a lot to do. I've been dreaming not in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with me. And I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a cock never like, changed A couple of hours have passed and not much else has been done Um the baby wanted me, so I sat down my head and we had lunch and then I tried on a christening dress with a socks because the socks looked cream. Turns out they weren't, they were okay. Then I put some whitening on a spare pair of shoes for thank you for her to wear just in case the ones that I bought didn't go with the dress, but they did, they went perfectly. So that was fantastic. And in the space of that time, the kids wrecked the kitchen again. So I've got to go over the same job again. Anyone with multiple kids knows, they know, they know how it is. I haven't even put a brush through my hair today. So I need to get cracking with the cleaning and then I can go and take a shower and put a brush through my hair. Just got a hoover and mop through again because the kids have obviously ate and been running out so I think I'll leave that until a little later on. Upstairs to do when Joe gets home but for the time being I am about to start making party food. And if you're wondering why I'm not doing it tomorrow it's because there just isn't enough time. Literally every christening we cook our own buffies and we always try to get some done of the morning time and it ends up super stressful and I don't want it to be like that. So the things I can cook today I'm going to cook today. That's chicken drumsticks. I'm doing an overnight scouse in the slow cooker it's about to say the air fryer and um, so i'm about to cook them now the pizzas and things like that i'm going to do tomorrow morning and the sandwiches so that's another reason i don't want to be stressed getting the kids ready getting me ready and making all kinds of foods and um, as i say it is only a little thing that's happening i think there's only a couple of people coming back i'm not sure if i've even said this there's literally joe's mum my dad my sister and i think the neighbor's going to pop over and a couple of the kids friends but i do want to feed them so i'm going to get to it I'm literally just going to make barbecue. Oh, I'll just kick the dog's water after we're typical. Um, I'm cooking barbecue chicken drumsticks. I'm just going to use like the Maggi seasoning that I've been using them for everything because it's super nice when they're cooked. I've got one of these. You meant to put them in the bag. There's a little, there's a little bag in here somewhere. But I've never used the bag. I've always just seasoned the drumsticks like this, pour it over. I really don't like um, touching raw meat, which is why I only buy frozen. But um, Tesco just aren't being the one with the frozen. And then I just rub all the marinade all over the top of them. Then give them a turn over and do the same on the other side. And then your hand ends up plucking something like this. While they cook, I'm gonna peel the potatoes for the scouse. I mean, I don't even do this for myself when I make slow cooked scouse, I just lash tin potatoes in, but I have got two bags of potatoes that I need to use up. So scouse is gonna have some of the potatoes. So guys, we got a living room done. Give us a wave down there, Granny. Hi, yeah. So we're all done in a living room. Back to the way she wants it. Beautiful. And test the telly. In a minute. Now we're doing the kitchen's all done. All back to spanky wanky woo woo. A garden. Needs another little closet, another little bit of an area at the back done, but it's done. 
everywhere is all neat. This is going tomorrow. But yeah, little sitting area for it, all clean. A little pantry here, so the dryer goes, garden stuff, we will get a shed eventually. And a fridge and freezer, drinks. Okay, look, there she is. So now we got the floor all up here, ready to put some new floor down for her, because she's going to pick a nice, nice patterned floor that she likes. And then up the stairs. All done, all clean, all back to the way my mum likes it. This is a bedroom, just needs a new floor, all clean, all back to the way she likes it. Spare room, now she can have guests, bathroom, toilet. I'm done, I'm going home. So sort me over home. But this one, if you want just a little taste for you, always look after your mum. Because one day, this lady looked after me. So, peace out, guys. Just in front of you. Seen some bits from here, so. I know you're all the monkeys. There was murders in the street as I was out. And um, the shops just told me all about it. And we don't even need to know about it, even though I don't even know. See, good power of knowing everybody. Power of the speech, mate. Oh, nearly home. Nearly home. Yes. Cooking. The chicken drumsticks are cooking. And I am just adding little finishing touches to the cake. I've got these little confetti, edible confetti things, heart stars and little dots. The little dots are a nightmare to put on, I'm not going to lie, but it looks a little better than it did. I didn't like it as plain as it was. People were saying less is more, but I don't like that. That is that. I think it looks a lot better. I don't know if to add any more on, should I, shouldn't I? I don't know. It's staying the way it is for now until I show Joe anyway. So that's that one ticked off on the list. So we just sat down and said, oh, guess what? I'm ready to go get me shower. And she goes, I've got no bowls. I have looked for them all day, but I just forgot that I still didn't have the bowls. So me and our little squid, we're on our way. Trying to scoot, scoot. I make scoot, scoot. And we're going to go again. Some um, bowls and there's a kid shouting the night sleep tight behind us. Good night, mate. Sleep tight. So, what a shave. What do you think? Nice. Ready for tomorrow? So, yeah, let's go find these bowls. Woo we'll find these bowls. Everybody's going to ride this pizza. Bowls. <coughs> yeah, for us to eat some scousing. Because I don't have enough for the most people that's going to be there. How many people are going to More than the most bowls I have got. Much later on now, the kids have all had their tea. I have cooked some pasta to do. Tuna pasta. Um, Renee's in the shower. Then it's Ebony's turn. Then it's Matthew and Zach's turn. Then we're going to bath the baby. Then I'm going to bath ourselves. And it's, it's literally... That's literally it. I know it's been a bit of a boring video today. There is footage from Joe, so there will be a little bit different than me just rabbiting on about everything that I've got to do. Just arrived home, he found the bills, thankfully. I was, Scouse wasn't on the plan, so I didn't bother to get bills, and then um, that was the wrong idea. Are you going to shower now? Yes, Renee's, oh, I was just about to say Renee's in the shower, Renee's out the shower. So we are going to just finish up for the evening, cleaning up, doing everything that needs to be prepped. And then this video is going up tomorrow morning. So I am going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a huge thumbs up. Click the notification bell, subscribe. We upload new videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Oh my God, that was chaotic. What day do we upload? <laughs> we upload new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. See you again soon. Bye. Six little lies.